Let's quickly review how to swaddle. If you are using a regular blanket or a swaddle from the hospital, start by laying it out flat. Fold down the top corner and center the baby's body with the shoulders right along the top. Then take one corner and pull it across over the shoulder and tuck it down behind the back, keeping the arm down. Pull the bottom corner and tuck that also behind the shoulder. Finally, take the last corner and pull that around the baby and tuck it behind the back. Be sure to keep the blanket loose around the legs, but snug around the chest. Swaddling should be used for infants under two months of age. Many babies are also soothed by sucking on a pacifier, your finger, or their own hands. Pacifiers are fine to use for soothing and sleep once breastfeeding has been well established. Never tie pacifiers to the crib or around your child's neck or hand. At six months of age, you may want to limit pacifier use to the crib so that it doesn't interfere with your baby's attempt to babble and communicate. Many babies will also settle down when they hear white noise. This can come from you saying, shh, close to their ear, a white noise machine, an app on your phone, or a household sound like a vacuum. Many babies like a little bit of movement such as standing up, bouncing, gentle rocking, swaying, or a light swinging motion. You're going to become an expert soother of your baby, but it isn't easy. If you feel overwhelmed, upset, or angry, it's okay to put a crying baby in a safe place like a crib and give yourself a break for a few minutes. Call a friend or a family member, pour a cup of tea, and then come back. You can always also call your baby's doctor and let them know that you're overwhelmed. They can help you with other strategies to help soothe your baby. We want to be clear that it is essential that you never shake your baby, as forcefully shaking a baby can cause damage to the brain.